Hey, hello friends. In this video, we are going to see what is function currying in JavaScript and also some tricky questions which are asked based on function currying. And I'm going to simplify that for you. And if you need more videos like this, please support this channel by liking, commenting and sharing with your friends. And if you are preparing for interview, you can contact me on LinkedIn. So first, let's see what is function currying. Function currying is a pattern which is used in JavaScript. So the syntax looks something like this. Consider we have an add function. So first we have to call the add function like a normal function call. If it is a curry function, it will be called something like this. So we can call it multiple times like this. Okay. So this is what function currying syntax looks like. Now let's implement a simple function currying. So first I'll define a function which is going to be add. Okay. And we can call this add function like this. Right. So I'm going to add some console. When I run this program, it consoles. And then if I add another bracket here, if I try to run this program, it will throw some error. It is because we are not returning anything from this function. When we don't return anything from a function, by default, it is going to return undefined, right? While runtime, what happens is when we try to execute this, it is going to return undefined and this add function call will be replaced with undefined. When we try to execute undefined, it will throw some error. Okay, so it is saying undefined is not a function. The same thing happens here. Okay, to prove that we can just add console log. If I run this, the console is logged here and it is not returning anything. So the undefined is consoled here, right? Now, if I have to execute something, right, this function should actually return another function. So I'll return another function. Okay. Now what happens is while running this program on runtime, this add function is returning this function, right? So now this will be replaced with this function. Now this function can be executed like this. Okay. Now, if I try to console something inside it, if I run this program, you can see outer and inner without any error. So if I add one more bracket here, one more curry, and then here, I'm not returning anything from this function. Again, I have to return something from here and that should be a function so that it can be executed. So I'll copy this and add Okay, so deep inner add method. And if I run this program, we can see three consoles we are getting, right? So this is what simple currying function is. Now let's try to solve this interview questions one by one. Okay. Now let's take this first problem, which is we have an add function and we can pass any number of function currying's Okay, so the question should be something like this. Okay, so we can add any number of function currying at the end while we add this empty brackets, right? Empty function call without any argument. Then this method should return addition of all the values which we passed here in this arguments. Okay, now let me write a function which is add and it is going to take an argument, right? I'll name it A. Okay. Let's copy this and try to call like this. Okay. Now this function should return another function. I'll return another function. And it is also going to take another argument, which is going to be B, right? So inside again, I have to return another function so that this will be replaced with another function. But we already have this add function. We can reuse this function. Okay. So before checking that, let's solve a smaller example. If I try to call something like this, okay. And I'm just going to console A and B. If I run this code, 
can see a is actually 1 and b is undefined right because we are not passing anything from here if i pass some value inside this now the a will be 1 and b is 2 right so here is the hint in this given problem we have to call this function without any argument so that at this point of time we have to return the total sum from this function right which means whenever we call this function without any argument this b will be undefined okay for example if i call like this b will be undefined right okay now with this b we are going to check if b is not equal to undefined okay then there will be another currying right here if there is an argument then there will be other function calls which will happen after this only if there is no argument passed then we have to return the answer so if it is not undefined which means there is a number then we can just return the add method and also we can just add a plus b so that this function will again call this for example right now here if we call something like this we have 1 and 2 so we are calling add with 3 and 3 will come here so now what happens we are actually calling this add method with 3 in runtime this will happen right so it comes here and this will be replaced and now we are calling this function so this is actually returning this function which means this function will be replaced here right now we are calling this function without any argument now b will become undefined okay so if b is undefined we can just return the a value which is the sum we got right which is 3 okay let me just copy this and paste it again and we can also add console.log if i run this program we can see we are getting 6 here right i'll just remove the console we are getting 6 and if i add 4 with 6 it should give me 10 right now we are getting 10 awesome so this is the simple solution for this problem and now we are going to solve the second problem which is we have to call add method with any number of function carrying but here we don't have any last function call which doesn't have any argument so always there will be an argument to this function carrying okay in this previous question we got to know we reached the end with the help of the last function carrying call if there is no argument passed for this function call then we can return we are deciding here whether to return a number or another function right but in this case we don't have any clue okay so to solve this problem we need to know some trick in javascript so let me explain that first currently we have a function which is x okay and i'm going to console log abc okay when i call this function it is going to print the console log right but instead of calling this i'm just go going to console log x okay so if i run this program you can see the function is actually stringified and printed so this thing is coming from jsbin if you run this in your local computer you will get the same function which is getting stringified in the console okay now why it is getting stringified because when we do console log with the function name it is actually going to use dot to string method okay so in every object array or function there will be inbuilt to string method so this method will be used when we do console log okay so now what we are going to do we are going to overwrite this to string method so i'll overwrite x dot to string method okay with another function okay and i'm going to return whatever i want so it should be a string for example i'm going to return abc or one two three four okay 
if I run this program, you can see we are getting 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So if I remove this, what happens? It will return the actual function that is getting stringified, right? In this case, we'll get whatever this two string method returns. If I try to return a number, for example, I'm returning five right now. If I run this code, you can see d dot two string dot split is not a function. So whatever we return here, so this is expected to be a string. Instead of that, I am passing a number and dot split method is applied on whatever we are returning. So that's why it is throwing some error. So this is the trick we are going to use in this problem. So now let's implement the solution for the second problem. I have a function, it's going to be add and it's going to take an argument which is a and also we are going to return another function okay and it is going to take argument b okay like the previous solution we are going to add if condition and we are going to check if b is not equal to undefined okay then we are going to return the same add method but here we have to add a plus b else we can just return a okay so let me call this function add two and three and also I'll console log okay if I call this here we are getting a function right so we know whenever we print a function it is going to use dot to string method right so instead of returning this function directly now I'm going to overwrite two string method of this function okay and then I'll return the modified function let me create a variable okay const temp okay so temp is going to be the function right now and we are going to override this functions to string method okay and here we are going to return a okay and we can return temp so this function we are returning after modifying right okay so here the a will be number we can add empty string to this to make it as a string and now if we run this program we are getting the expected result if i add 5 and 10 should add 15 to this 5 the console should be 20 okay so we are getting the answer as expected okay next we are going to solve the problem 3 so here we have to define a function should be add and here it can take any number of argument okay so i can add three four five it can be anything okay and even this case also it can be any number of argument okay so when we are passing an argument and it can be any number of argument then to handle that we have to use a rest operator so i'm going to use triple dot and i'm going to name it a okay and also we have to return another function which will also take any number of arguments. So we have to use rest operator and then I'll name it B. So let's console A and B. Okay. And also here we can use this empty function call, which means if there is no argument passed to this B, then we can return the result, right? So I'll call this function with one comma two and three comma and I'll check what we are getting here okay so we can see we are getting 1 comma 2 in this first value which is an array and also in this B we are getting 3 and 4 if I don't pass anything okay when I run this we can see it, it is giving empty array right so instead of checking B is undefined or not here we have to check the length of B if B dot length is zero then we have to do something else we have to return something else if the length is zero then we can just return the sum of a right so whatever arguments we got we can add all these values and we can return to add all the values okay in an array we can use reduce method let sum equal to a dot reduce okay it's going to take accumulator and current value and we can just return 
accumulator plus current. So if the length is zero, we can just return sum. Else we can just return this add method with sum. Okay. And also we have to add these arguments, right? So when we get second uh, function with arguments, we have to add all these things and we have to pass again. So I'll just copy this. I'll paste it here and I'll name it sum one and I should go through B and we can just add someone with this. Okay. Now let's console. This. So now we can see we are getting three here and I'll add four comma five. We are getting 12. So we solve this problem and the last problem we don't have any empty function call which means without any argument if anything called we cannot predict that there will be always an argument right in b so we have to use two string method i'm not going to solve this problem and i leave it up to you you have to use the same pattern which you used in the previous solution which is this q2 right so whatever we used in q2 you have to use the same solution something like you have to override two string function of this function so that you can get the value without this okay if you successfully write the solution of this q4 problem take a screenshot of that solution and tag me on linkedin i will check it out and also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and share with your friends for more such videos and thanks for watching